The events on June 6, 1944 in Normandy, France, have lived in infamy for 75 years. That's when Allied forces stormed the beaches during World War II in an attempt to turn the tide against the German forces. Although hundreds of people join in as volunteers in this event, those participating take their job very seriously. After all, this is one of the largest battle reenactments in the country. We have been doing this about six years. Four years as a Red Cross production. And uh, what got you into it? Uh, my husband did. It was either come and be a part of this or stay home. This event brings people together who have World War II history in their family, who have served in wars since then, and those who simply love living history. Edward Jividen has been a part of this event since 2005. His father-in-law fought in the Pacific Theater. This year, he brought his sons to the D-Day recreation to give them a taste of this moment in history. There's a mixture of guys that are my, you know, my age, my generation. But we have a lot of guys that were Afghanistan and Iraq vets and Vietnam veterans. So we have a lot of guys in this reenacting group that actually have Purple Hearts. I think just history for people to know history. You can read about it in a book, you can watch it on a movie, but to see this, this, the tents, the smells, everything around you, it's just, I think, fantastic for every age group to see this. Those who fought in that war are taken back 75 years when they are here, remembering their experience as well as the friends they've lost. More than 4,500 Allied troops are estimated to have died on the beach that fateful day. Not letting their sacrifice be forgotten is why so many come together to make this recreation happen every year. In Conneaut, Ohio, Krista Nielsen, Jet 24 Action News.